Rome had vassals, all right? The, the Visigoths, the uh, Lombards, the Vandals, the Suebes, all right? The Goths, there's so many. It's, it's 10 of them, all right? But in this time, you have the EU, okay? So this made Rome a major power, all right, in different regions, okay? Because Rome was an idea as well as a powerhouse, all right? It was a mindset that spread in the known world at that time. So it says, and of the other which came up, all right? And of the other which came up. So we're focusing on this other which came up, that other horn, which they're saying is the, the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church, or whatever the hell, all right? And before whom three fell, all right? Which we showed you that was the uh, the French, the Spanish, the British. Even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. This is speaking of Babylon the Great, not, all right, the Roman Catholic Church, okay? I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. So did did uh, 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 the Roman Catholic Church prevail against us and make war with us? Okay? Or, or, or was it Babylon the Great? Now, the Roman Catholic Church had their portion of it. Okay? But this horn that made war with the saints is speaking of Babylon the Great. All right? And it says his look was more stout than his fellows. Now, America is being currently looked at, all right, as pompous, as, as proud, and as a troublemaker amongst the European Union, okay? Because of their pride, all right? Because they're, 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 they're doing things that's ultimately not working in the interest of these different countries, which these different countries have always worked in the interest of Babylon the Great. Okay, so he's more stout, you know, more powerful, ultimately, than his fellows. And I beheld in the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the ancient of days came. This is proof that Esau is the end of the world, that the Messiah is going to return to an Edomite ruled, all right, uh, rulership. The Lord ain't going to return to take down just the Vatican, the, the Roman Catholic Church. All right, right now, we're currently not being oppressed by the Roman Catholic Church. Now, of course, they play a part in our oppression, okay? But we are physically, okay, in a land known as Babylon, the great being oppressed hardcore, okay? As well as scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth, all right? But the main captivity is uh, this new spiritual Egypt, okay, which is Babylon, the great, all right? Now going here to 21, read it again. It says, and I beheld in the same horn made war with the saints. All right. <laughs> and that's the revival of the ancient Roman Empire headed by the biblical Edomites. Okay. And prevailed against them. Okay. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. So this right here, as I always say, proves that Esau is in control of this fourth beast because the scriptures say Esau is the end of the world. All right, now as you uh, read down, you know, he, he gives further edification, all right, on the fourth beast. He gives edification on the ten horns, okay. Um, let's see here. And then he's talking about that horn again, okay. And the ten horns out of his kingdoms are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, okay? And he shall be diverse from the first, and shall subdue the three kings. It's going into Babylon the Great, okay? Now here's the point, verse 25, and he shall be, he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, all right? Now, the Roman Catholic Church didn't do that. Okay, the, the Babylon the Great did that. Okay, the the, the, the the coming over here, you know, stealing his land and ultimately be bringing us over here via cargo slave ships. That was the Edomites. Okay, now let's see here. It says, 
and they shall speak great words against the Most High. All of the lies, you know, their their false religion. Okay, their science, their pseudoscience, saying that they're the chosen people. Uh, we have a low IQ. All of this stuff. The chariots with big, you know, aliens, you know, the aliens on there with big eyes, and you know. So they've spoken a great amount of things against the Most High via their science and lies. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. All right? Did the Vatican do that alone? No. This is speaking of Babylon the Great. They wore us the hell out. Constantly harassed. This whole system of Edomite supremacy. Mainly here at Babylon the Great. Okay? And think, think to change times and laws. And they shall be given... Into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of times. That's the 350 years, all right, where we were just getting our asses whooped. Okay, no understanding, all right. After that 350 years, all right, from about 16, 19 till, you know, the uh, 60s and 70s was when the Lord finally, you know, gave us the Holy Spirit by sending Abba Bivens. Even before that, you had a few Jake who were teaching out of the Torah, but the full spirit wasn't there, all right? But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end. So this this, this little horn had dominion, okay? Let's look up the word for dominion, all right? The word for dominion is shala, sha. Latan, Shaltan, okay, dominion, sovereignty. Now, does the uh, Catholic Church have dominion and sovereignty? Sovereignty, no. All right, Esau does via Babylon the Great in this beast system. Let's get Isaiah 47, and we'll end it off. I didn't want to take too long. Isaiah 47, all right, and one, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, or daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. Take the millstones, grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. All right, this is speaking to Babylon the Great, which is that little horn. <laughs> All right, and this is where the Lord is going to redeem us from, you know, but ultimately, um, Verse 6, I was wroth with my people, I have polluted mine inheritance, I have given them into thine hand. Speaking to the Edomites who run Babylon, the great, thou didst show them no mercy, and upon the ancient hast thou verily heavily laid thy yoke. You just put hell on us, our, our, our elderly, all right, they put hell on the ancient ways, they put hell on the, the elderly people of our nation, they didn't give a damn. All right, and thou hast said, I shall be a lady forever, so that that is, uh, thou didst not lay these things to thine heart, neither did thou remember the latter end of it. All right, therefore hear now this, thou that art given unto pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that said in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me, I shall not sit as a widow, I shall not know the loss of children. Okay, this is speaking of a nation of people who run Babylon the Great. Okay, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and in one day, in one day, in one day. <laughs> Let's see if uh, the, the so-called scholars link those two precepts. It said in one day. Let's see if it takes us to Revelation, the 18th chapter. Boom. Okay, therefore shall her place come in one day. All right. And it says the kings of the earth committed fornication with her and lived deliciously. Okay, and it also talks about how Babylon would be a merchant city, like a uh, they would have ports where they traded by sea. All right, who who has the 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 the, uh, the most imports of any country in the world? I'll wait. Is it the Vatican or is it Babylon, the Great America? It's America. Okay, so you know there there's very uh, much more we could go into. So I'm gonna just leave it there. Uh, the daughter. Of Babylon is the little horn spoken of in Daniel the seventh chapter, and it is the final captivity for the Israelites. Okay, as it says in Lamentations four, 
Okay. Let's just jump to the point 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. All right, through that fourth beast and that little horn that issued forth from it, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. All right, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, daughter of Edom, daughter of Babylon, daughter of the Chaldeans. All right, through. All right, so uh, Shalom, hopefully I'm edified.